So this is the first time a team from the Australian Centre of Robotic Vision has entered RoboCup at home. This is our robot behind us. His name is Rocky. Hello, Steve. Hello, Rocky. <laughs> We've called our robot Rocky because we're definitely the underdogs going into this competition. It's a mishmash of parts we pulled together for this challenge from bits and pieces we had around the lab. He's definitely a bit of a Frankenstein robot. <laughs> it's so sad. The RoboCup at home is a challenge around making a general purpose robot butler. So for one of the tasks Rocky can do, he can pick up garbage and take it outside. So to do this, he has a robot arm to obviously pick up the garbage and a camera on the front here. So what happens is it will drive to a room, spin around and use the camera to look for the garbage bin. Once it sees a garbage bin, it will pick up the garbage and then drive out to where the garbage location is outside and drop off your rubbish. Rocky can navigate around your house and find multiple places where garbage is stored to make sure that it's all outside in the garbage bin, ready for the pickup day. Rocky can also greet people as they come into your home. Hello, what is your name? My name is Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. Hey. Please follow me to your seat. It's been set up to recognise faces, say hello to people, ask what their names are, guide them to seats, remember their names, and reintroduce them to other people who are already sitting there. Please take a seat, Steve, and meet John and Faith. Throughout this challenge, the team has discovered just how hard it is to do some of these tasks. We went into this thinking we had a lot of the pieces to do things like pick up garbage, uh, manipulate objects, find objects on a shelf, but putting all these things together is a really difficult task. I guess we'd all like to get to Rosie from the Jetsons but I think we're a fair way away from that. Robots in our homes are probably still quite a few years away. The challenge is difficult, but I don't think it's insurmountable. 